her star now. And she has been mine and Carol Joy's interior designer. She's chosen all the colors. She tells the crew what to do. She tells the contractors what to do. And I go in and look at a house that I'm in town before it starts. That is the rehab project. And then I don't show back up until they're finished. Today will be an exception. I'm going in two houses with you all right now today that I don't have a clue what they look like. <laughs> they're in the middle of the rehab. Right? And so I learned a long time ago, the more often I show up, the more money it costs me. Because <laughs> I used to get involved, I'd say, well, Beth, we need to do this, we need to do that. And finally, she told me a hundred times, if you'll just stay away and let me do my job and we'll get it done quicker and cheaper, I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so anyway, as I say, she's been doing overseeing all the uh, rehab projects for us now since 2004. And you all, please help me welcome over to the front, Miss Beth Garner. Hi, so Beth's an integral part of the team that, and you'll hear me talk a lot on Friday, you'll hear me talk a lot about uh, automating the business, right? The definition of automation is either delegating out and outsourcing to other people that are responsible for those areas or getting technology to do it for you, which you'll hear me talk about on Friday. So that's a very, very important part of the automation team. And I rarely get called into the situation unless Murphy shows up in a big way. <laughs> and then contractor and Beth will contact me. So, um, Beth, tell folks um, a little bit about your background and how it is you're qualified to do what you do. Well, I usually share initially as being a little girl. My parents both work, and I have a younger sister and brother. And on Saturdays, we didn't get to play all day. We couldn't play until we get cleaned house and tidied up. So, my sister and brother and I. Um, I didn't particularly like to dust and run the vacuum, which my sister loved. My brother was, at an early age, very good with a hammer and whatever paint, whatever. So we had fun with it. We would rearrange the rooms and go to Rose's and buy uh, rip rack or, or something, you know, to trim a lampshade. And so we just started at an early age, and mine stuck with me all of my life, and my brothers did. And my sister ended up in the school system as a sims coordinator. So, yeah, but she's still a good cleaner and she comes and helps me occasionally. So, going through, like, I really ended up more in business, um, being departmental secretary. So, I was at East Carolina University um, three or four years while my husband was in school a departmental secretary there, came home and did the same thing here. And then when I had my children, one of the local furniture stores called me around Thanksgiving and said they were very, very busy when I come help them in the store. So gosh, I was, um, I was excited to do that. So I went on Black Friday and that got me shifted over back into my world again. And I had a drapery shop in that store. It was called Queen's Interiors. So I followed through, and at that point, I thought I really needed some more studies in that background. So I studied with the New York School of Interior Design, which was like a more like a home course, computer course, but you were required to actually go to that school in New York and do some of their requirements there, which I did, and that was very beneficial. I really enjoyed that. So um, that's how I've kind of gotten where I am. Um, yeah, I with Jay's family for a long time. Yeah, I remember one night about quarter to nine. So we've been doing this for the first year, right? Me and Carol Joy, and uh, I was where I had a different crew. I haven't been in for like a year. And at quarter to nine one night, we were in. Carol and I were in Lowe's Home Improvement, picking out blinds for windows. And I looked at Carol and I said, what in the world are we doing at quarter to nine at night 
picking out blinds for windows and knickknacks for the bathroom and knickknacks for the kitchen. I said, we got to do something different. So now Beth goes to home improvement at quarter to nine. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I qualify for this. <laughs> so anyway. Beth is smart. She goes at quarter to nine in the morning. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So anyway, that's going to be on the bus tour with us, and you'll be able to you know, ask her questions. What's going to happen on the bus tour is this first time that we're going to, uh, you're going to meet Chris Burnett, who is my crew leader. Now, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow morning, Beth's going to be back with us along with a lot more of the team that uh, helps me run the business, and we'll have questions and answers with all of them. 